What is good, guys and gals, droids and nerds? Uh, it is your boy, Coach, and I'm back uh, to talk to you about a little something that has been bothering me just a smidge. <sighs> what are they doing with the Hulk in the MCU, people? I mean, just... Why? <laughs> And I, I feel like they're doing this on purpose, and I've talked about this before uh, in, in uh, Infinity War, Avengers Infinity, Infinity War, and um, it just seems like they're doing it on purpose now. Uh, they've nerfed the Hulk to the point of, uh, of laughability. Um, he's not even a sig significant powerhouse now. It's ridiculous. Captain Marvel is stronger than him in the MCU, which is just embarrassing. Yeah, really. I mean, because in the in the comics, the Hulk is just just absolutely destroys uh, Captain Marvel. Oh, but he would be too powerful, and there would be no need for a team. Like, are you kidding me? Ah, um, Russo brothers. They they seriously need to fix. What's going on with this character? Or else I'm done with the MCU. I'm, I'm serious. I can't take much more of this crap. I mean, and Marvel, the thing with Disney and Marvel, they seem to be doing this with every other company that has a, uh, a rights, some kind of rights to their character. They'll throw like some kind of hissy fit and just shit all over their character um, in some way. <laughs> the Hulk's being disgraced in the movies. Uh, the X-Men were effectively not in print for as long as uh, as Fox held the rights. Uh, they, 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 and the Fantastic Four, uh, they, they were under some kind of different brand or whatever, or they took them out of print. But yeah, they, they hold grudges against different companies uh, that don't do their bidding, which is just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, Disney has too much power. Uh, they need to be broken up. Um, that's my opinion. Um, and it's, it's gotten so bad, um, it's sticking on the Hulk's power level. The Hulk and Thor have been historically rivals in, um, in the comic books. The Hulk is, and the Hulk has beaten the, the, the living daylights out of Thor on a, on a bunch of occasions. Uh, and I felt like. I feel like Mar I can't even read Marvel Comics anymore. It's become so bad. Uh, Marvel Comics have become nothing more than a promotional tool, uh, promotional pamphlets for their upcoming movies. It's it's gotten ridiculous. Um, the Hulk, uh, a being who's supposed to get stronger as the fight goes along, gets absolutely knocked around by freaking uh, Thanos in a fist fight. Like, I can understand, okay, if he pulls out energy beams or some shit and, and, and like, oh, the Hulk is like, oh, I'm overloaded. And like, you know, it's going to take me a while to heal back from this. But he always does. That's the thing about him. He always comes back. I, I think the most disgraceful and most infuriating uh, thing that I've seen in recent times, because, like I've said, Marvel has been using their comics as just a means to promote their movies. The most disgraceful thing I've ever seen was uh, when the Hulk was basically on a leash and, and Thanos' dog. All right, that's how much they're shitting on the Hulk right now. Why? I mean, do they want to lose fans? Do they want to alienate Hulk fans? I feel like they do. And if that's the case, then you don't deserve my dollar. I'm, I'm serious. Like Endgame and uh, Dark Phoenix are probably going to be in for in terms of Marvel movies for me until Marvel gets this shit together uh, and stops doing this this bullshit. Like it's honestly very annoying. But um, it's like it's like it, it was such a disappointment to see. Uh, we're all expecting the Hulk to, to come back world breaker Hulk in Endgame 
everyone was talking about, oh, World Breaker Hulk is going to be an endgame. World Breaker Hulk is going to be in this. He's going to smash Thanos. It's going to be so epic because that's what the Hulk does. Yeah, even and we didn't we didn't even see him fight. It was ridiculous. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> and at, at the end of the movie, the biggest insult was seeing the Hulk with his arm in a sling. Really? <laughs> Anyone who has ever read a Hulk comic must have been pissed as fuck. <laughs> like, they must have been so pissed. Because I know I was. <laughs> Just like even Professor Hulk, if you're gonna if you're gonna put Professor Hulk in a movie, all right, at least get his powers right. This is why I keep saying 2003 Hulk was the best portrayal of the character on screen. The best. You can't argue with me, and I, and I don't know why people hate. I think I think the biggest complaint I hear people, it, it is the stupidest argument. Oh, he's green like Shrek in the... I'm like, gives a fuck. Like, he's not even the same shade as, as, as Shrek. Like, why is that such a complaint? And they were just mad. They were just hating on the movie. I'm like, why? You know? The movie shows all of his powers as they should be portrayed. The Hulk gets stronger on screen. He emits gamma radiation. He, um... He gets bigger, actually, which he has done in the comics. Um, he um, he's fast as hell. He he has good reflexes. He caught freaking missiles out of the sky, which is awesome. Um, he he was just an unstoppable tank, and uh, he they showed his regeneration, healing ability, you know, and it was all on point. The Hulk is a is a, is a machine. You know, and um, then all of a sudden, oh, Thanos is just just come. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna fist fight this dude and knock him around and knock him out. It was just the stupidest and, and most offensive thing to see as a Hulk fan. You know, and um, it, it got me so pissed. I was just like, oh dude, just wow. I can't believe I paid money to see one of my favorite character get get wrecked like that on screen. And then every, everyone is just sitting there like, yo, man, yo, the Hulk is, you know, the Hulk is, is just got wrecked by Thanos. And, and it seems like everyone, even the people who make this movie, are under the impression that uh, the Hulk is just this stereotype of a character, this stereotypical big, green, angry man, you know, and he doesn't have any other powers. Like, are you serious? <laughs> like, are you serious? Look. The Hulk has uh, potential for infinite strength, all right? And he showcased that he, he can get as strong as he needs to be, as strong as he wants to be, or as, when he's, when he's as, angry as, he, as angry as he can get. And the fact that they've been just targeting him in not only the comics, and, um, but also the, the movies now, you see, you see just the blatant disrespect for his character in the movies. Like, people just won't know any better. Like, regeneration? What's that? Like, oh, Hulk is just going to have his arm in a sling. Like, <laughs> just, just, what the fuck? Like, I'm sorry, but it's just, and then the Russo brothers, like, oh, yes. Like, I, and it was, like, permanent or something like that. I saw it on Twitter. Um, I'm not sure if you guys... Uh, have been following, but yeah, I, I saw, I shared that article on Twitter where it was the Russo brothers were like, oh yes, uh, Hulk's arm damage is going to be permanent. I'm like, what? What universe are you guys in? Like, you have people in charge of these characters that don't know what the hell these characters are about. They don't know their power sets. They, everyone else, every other character has gotten a buff except for the Hulk. The Hulk has remained constant when in, in every other medium, the Hulk is, is known for getting stronger. He gets stronger. He gets back up. You know, he's never, he's never really out of the fight. You know, 
and um, it, it's just really embarrassing to see this. It's, a, it's really quite a shameful display, and uh, and I re I really just hope Marvel gets their shit together. Like that's all I can say because I you know, I, I can't I really can't stand it. Um, you know, the Hulk is one of my favorite characters of all time. Uh, followed closely by Spider-Man and Wolverine, of course. Uh, the big three. Those are my, my favorite characters. Uh, and they're my favorite characters for a reason. They got the multiple personality uh, aspect of the Hulk down pat, I believe, in, in this film series. You know, but just the fact that, that they lied to you in the trailer of, uh, of Infinity War, that the Hulk was going to be, oh, he's going to be in it. He's going to be in the final battle where everyone else is, and he's going to be smashing people. Yeah, you see, the, you watch the trailer, you see the Hulk running, but he's not in the, he's not in the frigging movie, you know, for like two minutes. And then he gets like basically uh, a joke role in, um, in Endgame. He gets his arm almost almost blasted off, which is ridiculous. Because uh, even Professor Hulk, which is the the weakest version of the Hulk, has massive regeneration. He, he regenerated all of his skin from off of his body in in less than a minute. And you're telling me he can't regenerate some burn off flesh from on his arm? He needs a cast. Are you freaking kidding me? That's how you're going to do your boy? That's how you're going to do the Hulk? Really? Uh, it's such an embarrassment, dude. Um, you know, I don't know what else I could say. Marvel needs to just stop. Stop shitting on this character. This is one of the most beloved characters. Get your stuff together and portray this character how he was meant to be portrayed. Anyway, it's your boy, Coast. That's the end of this rant. Uh... Take it easy. God bless.